All right, as more people are joining, I think we can go ahead and get started. So welcome everyone to Capit Simplified's first year anniversary event. We are so excited to have all of you join us and it's so nice that most of you are having your cameras on. So it's good to see all the happy faces over here. So to introduce myself, I'm Noda. I am the co-founder of Capit Simplified and I'm a current doctor of dental medicine graduate student yet to be graduate at the Southern Illinois University School of Dental Medicine. Um, Caput Simplified is a platform that coaches international dentists who aspire to pursue a dental career in the US. This was founded by myself and Karthik in March 2020. Karthik is my co-founder. He is an engineer and an MBA summa cum laude graduate from Babson College in Boston. He's currently my co-founder and a strategic consultant. So Karthik will take you guys on a further dive into our annual report. But before that, I'd like to introduce you to, to you all, our chief guests for today. So we have among us, Dr. Srinivasan Sundarajan. Dr. Sundarajan is a renowned scientist from India's Defense Research Organization and has worked on the most ambitious missile projects that India has undertaken under Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, the former president of India. He devoted the later part of his career to igniting young minds across India, including a five-year transformational leadership period at Karthik's alma mater. He currently works as a disruptive higher education and space research consultant with multiple organizations. It is such an honor to have someone of his repute and credibility join us today. So thank you for being here, sir. Thank you. Then we have David Delesk. Dave is a very close friend of us. He's a health evangelist, a five-time CEO, angel investor, and most importantly, he's a proud grandfather. He recently co-founded Carefree Chronic Care, which is an innovative healthcare platform for America's senior citizens and continues to grow it till date. He's been an, a pillar of support and a mentor for Capit Simplified ever since it started. But on a lighter note, Dave, you wouldn't know this, but Capit Simplified started with the laptop and the airpods that you gave Karthik when he was working as an intern for your startup. Thank you for traveling this one year with us and for many years to come. Next, we have a special guest with us, which is Dr. Daniel Ketterman. Dr. Kedeman is currently the director of the program for international dentists at my school. He's also the interim chair of the Department of Clinical Dentistry. My school is the Southern Illinois University or School of Dental Medicine. He is an extremely accomplished dentist, having started a private practice very early in his career, and he's established a name for himself in the dental communities of Missouri, and he's proficient in orofacial pain and reconstructions. He's very special because he's established a permanent dental clinic in the Atacama Desert, serving the Amara Indians of Chile. And he's all, he was also one of the first two dentists to go to the mountains of Costa Rica to provide dental care to the indigenous people. He is a member of the International College of Dentists and, and Omicron Kappa Upsilon, which is the National Dental Honor Society. It is an honor to have you join us on this important day. And then we have Dr. Jo Dr. Jack Marinso. He is my team leader. He is a 1980 graduate from the University of Missouri, Kansas City Dental School. And that's the dental school that Dr. Kederman graduated from too. Dr. Jack Marinsville owned and operated a private general practice for 37 years, focusing on comprehensive restorative dentistry and operation. <laughs> His continuing education journey includes the Dawson Academy, the Piper Education and Research Center, the American Equilibration Society, the Academy of Fixed Prosthodontics, and the Seattle Study Club, and many such that maybe he did not list. He began teaching part-time at SIU School of Dental Medicine in 2012. And now he's a full-time faculty member and a team leader. He's also a guest lecturer for the AGD program in the Diagnosis and Treatment of AMD. In 2016, he was also a part of the team instructing the international student dentists at SIUSBM. It is an honor to have you with us today. We also, we, I'm not sure if Ravi has joined us this evening, but Ravi Nityanandam is a serial entrepreneur and angel investor in the health tech industry. He has mentored us 
in thinking about capid as capid simplified as something beyond a lifestyle business and has ignited a larger vision in us ravi we are always grateful that you share your extremely valuable time with us and this evening just became more special with you i'd like to thank all our chief guests for taking time out of their weekends to be a part of our celebration now i'll have kartik take it away with our annual report well thank you nora uh, i know it's been all serious till now i can break the ice for you guys mostly for giving us an opportunity to wear a suit for the first time ever in covid this company started during the pandemic and has been soaring in the pandemic and we really never got an opportunity to do something as fancy so thank you for that um we have grown up on your footsteps also joined our other special people in this meeting um who are students who were to the applicant and who have now gone into school uh, there are quite a few and there are several us dental schools represented here so i'm not going to mention who they are and which school they are from but we're super glad that you have you've come all this way and there's a few more steps to go on our journey on that note would love to quickly give you a recap of what 2020 looked like in about 15 minutes and then hear a few words of motivation from each of our guests of honor on this slide all right so we're going to uh, look at three parts just in the next 15 minutes we'll go through the first two parts a quick flashback to trailer of what happened and then a short annual report shortly after we'll listen to everybody speak because some people have early deadlines to leave and then we can speak about the other not so interesting business aspects which i love the most uh on that note the flashback so what really happened back in 2018 nura graduated from a bachelor in dental surgery program as a dentist in india when she graduated she wanted to pursue a higher education in the us but faced a hell of a lot of problems several challenges in this pursuit she joined hands with me and we are both friends from uh, childhood you can say in some some extent she both joined hands with me and for 8 months we tirelessly prepared the streets of boston the cafes in new hampshire and the roadside lamps or the wifi spots in connecticut would speak tales about uh, how we prepared for this journey we used that that pursuit to actually crack into 10 dental schools get invites and when we searched on the internet that was a record number for somebody like nora who had not uh, come with certain privileges so with that record we were actually celebrating but then something else happened uh, the school that she got an admit from had a security deposit like every other school out there needed a security deposit to reserve her seat and we did not we did not have the money for that so where do we go we posted our success on the internet and asked if people like us required help other than to solve that to get into their own dream pursuits that journey helped us generate about $6000 in a short span of 3 months and pay the security deposit get nora into school and then capital simplified was obviously born now at that point i went and asked nora nora can we really make this a business because i i i feel an itch uh, she did not initially comply but thankfully later she was bought into the idea after a lot of selling which i continue to do from that we have come a long way what started with just training five dentists and raising that $6000 initially have grown over time over this last one year and, and as of today we've helped close to 157 dentists on our platform and uh, we've done a couple of things for them we are coaching them with services we're also building tools for them like calculators and wikipedia pages that exclusively serve their needs and help them crack into school uh, i'm sure dr morinsel and dr ketterman who are here are on the other side of the table recruiting these students who are trained by coaches like us and hopefully they're sending good candidates your way <laughs> on that note uh would quickly jump into what fuels our passion now obviously we we saw some pocket money coming in we, this was exciting we were able to help other people you know on their dreams but then what really kept us moving and motivated from that point were three big things one was somebody coming back and telling us thank you 
and when we heard that word it just made our day some people would cry some people would go to the extent of calling me brother but nevertheless all of these stories of gratitude made us you know kept keep going another thing is uh, even though this is a business even though we're speaking like sales people after working with somebody in their most difficult vulnerable point of life you become friends with them at the end of the day they're talking to you about their wedding they're talking to you about their newly born child they're talking to you about these problems and building that rapport outside the business has been what keeps us running inside the business finally uh, future potential now naturally as an mba i'm looking at what else can happen and when i was not thinking about what else can happen ravi and dev dev on this call they basically told me hey there's so much more potential than what you're looking at you're looking at a very small portion of this large ocean and they kind of ex- exposed me to the potential of what we are doing and how we are catalyzing a very small business that can grow so the idea of potential in the future the thank yous we hear and the friendships we build is what keeps us going from the initial days all of this is uh, like a quick genesis a quick trailer now some serious stuff so we've talked to you all the thank yous but let's see how many thank yous we were able to generate so we help people all across the globe about uh, 75 dentists we provided one on one coaching out of the initial 175 you saw they came from nine countries naturally because we're from india a good number of them are from india and then a good number of them are indians in the us we also help people from other countries like pakistan iraq london canada um and i think the most remotest country we have helped is china we helped one candidate from china so proud of that now helping people all across the globe let us go places and we figured out that when dentists succeed we succeed so this is like a flywheel we help them succeed we help them get into school and they come back and give us something which we never expected they wanted to be mentors on our platform and help more dentists coming in so you you help the first person it's like you give them the chance to grow in life and then they give you back a seed and that seed grows and it keeps going on so after you sow the first seed the next seed comes on by itself this has actually grown over time and we wanted to put this on a very simple infographic that explains the whole process of how people work stuff they would see us on youtube imagine they would have to see this face with this hairstyle for about 4000 hours and people have done that across the world unfortunately there was no sophisticated cgi we could put into our youtube videos they saw us on youtube they gave us a call and after the call they would take up a mock test or a, they would try some simple tool on our platform once they take a mock test the next step is to engage in a service with us now this would be something like taking one on one coaching for an interview or for a certain clinical exam so once they do this typically a very few of them get into our exclusive inner circle fellowship program now the idea for the fellowship program came from a place that i'm not very proud of it's called an iit coaching classes in india where they take a very small set of people and put them through a very rigorous process and give them cut all their social life but then eventually get them into the schools of their dream I was in one such classroom program did not make it to IIT but nevertheless got to be in a place where I was under the blessings of Dr Sundar Rajan a big uh, vision visionary and light in my life so we tried to model this the same way of course not killing people's social life but thinking about this concentrated and focused fellowship program where we give them all our attention and help them in success so they would get about 80 hours of personalized coaching and then hopefully fingers crossed get an admit at a very established dds program or residency program from there they have two options one they can get financial counseling from us we have a few preferred banks we have tied up with who were able to get lower discount rates or sorry lower interest rates on educational loans and get them into school or they join us back as mentors the idea of that seed in the manian they join us back as mentors and then they help other dentists Uh, also succeed so a few people on this call are are actively helping other dentists because of only the videos are i'm going to quote vinita vinita worked with us for about 7 hours she cracked into two schools uh and she got many more invites 
and then she put a video on our channel which is the most watched video and now people are bombarding her with calls on how to get into dental school so this thank you manita you've started you were the first person and many more are continuing from that our eventual goal is to help in foreign trained dentists set up a practice in the us uh, so we would like to call this the path to private practice but that's an eventual goal let's see how that works out because there are a lot of barriers for a foreign trained dentist to set up their foot in the soil so if they go through all this journey then something happens a community starts creating where people engage with themselves they start sharing information and knowledge and they start start sharing goodwill to get other people in the platform in dental schools and we've created a community proud to say of about 1270 dental students now to give you a perspective of what that would look like we estimate there are 3000 dentists applying each year to dental school for only 763 seats reserved for foreign trained dentists so 3000 dentists and one third of them are in our communities in different channels if you were to break this down by channel that would look like this we have about 800 dentists on our quora like platform asking questions and getting them answered we have 400 dentists on our social media platforms we have 720 dentists who who we reach out to by mail and provide admission tips we have about 330 dentists on our whatsapp groups and unlike family whatsapp groups these are groups that i actively check and respond to from time to time we also have about 1200 dentists who have subscribed to our youtube channel and like i said they watched us our faces for 4300 hours i think that's quite an achievement uh, given that youtube has so much else to watch for entertainment watching an educational video which is not exactly the best experience is is a very comforting uh, you know note to take that we've been doing giving good service across this community something happens once people start sharing with each other trust builds and that trust we think really seals the deal when you prove results as of today 50% one out of every two dentists we've coached has made it into dental school so if you were to do a coin toss 763 out of 3000 is roughly one out of four a coin toss would get you into school 25% of the time but with capital simplified coaching hopefully you the chances of getting into school is 50% of the time one of the things that me and nura have always prioritized in this process is to be ethical we have not allowed anybody and not ourselves to use template answers to use somebody else's borrowed answers to be unethical and we've been very particular about that because we know what it feels like to lose your seat to somebody else who has plagiarized their profile and who has you know created something out of thin air so based on our own pain as applicants a couple of years earlier we want to make sure the people that we train are also ethical in their process and get into school all right so here are a few texts that we kind of put put from our different whatsapp uh, comments people thanking us just a small clip of course we've also had to say sorry several times because we, uh, i'm in a full time job nora is in school so we don't really we're not the most responsive on time people but that, that, thankfully that's changing with a new team on board all right let's see so these are uh, the schools that we have helped people get into um, about 31 dentists and if if you go to any school right now four out of every 100 dentists will be would have been coached by capital simplified we have some of like very reputed names here uh loma linda nyu university of louisville and so on and that that count is keep it will keep increasing this month as we get more phone calls of people telling us that they got admitted all right let's see oh yeah very special so the end of that trust is somebody coming back and feeling that they can pass on their gratitude and time to other dentists on the platform grow and we see i mean these are these are few dentists who have actually continued with us and become a big part of our journey uh dr apurva not sure whether all of them are on the call dr nikita dr marshall dr sangamitra and dr shri they've all got into different schools or they're applying and they're simultaneously helping other students uh, which is a great thing 
I'll pause here. We are about 15 minutes. I hope that was my most efficient presentation ever. <laughs> uh, on that note, I'm going to pause and pass on the dais, this virtual dais, to our chief guest to share a few words of motivation. Uh, let's start with Dr. Sundar Rajan. Sir, since you have a tight deadline, would you mind taking a few words? Oh, good, good. What wonderful presentation, Karthik. And it's, a, it's a really nice to see you and uh, uh, Dr. Laura, you know, uh, bringing up this particular startup is a very nice, nice. Uh, I'm, I'm going through a nice experience. Mm -hmm. Good. Thanks for uh, giving me this opportunity. Thanks, Venkat, and uh, for inviting me. And uh, you, you see, the, uh, uh, normally, I, uh, the very, uh, uh, um, you know, we see the challenges have to be converted into opportunities. So Dr. Naura has failed challenges. And now that has become an opportunity. You have converted this into an opportunity. It's an excellent case study for this. And uh, <laughs> you know, last four years, uh, I've been focusing on dental uh, education in India. And what I see is uh, we are producing large number of uh, uh, dental and well experience. You know, the number of patients you see in India is much more than what you can guess anywhere in the world. You know, that they got very good experience. But, uh, you know, they, uh, the potential, the potential for, uh, you know, the opportunities and uh, also the exposure to the latest technology, especially in the area of uh, dental surgery, you know, the dental materials, all are there in U.S. You know, that, that's the, and it's a well-paying job. You know, that's where uh, there is an attraction. So your startup has come at a very appropriate time because you are helping a society uh, uh, to get into a better career because they need the guidance. And uh, uh, this is, uh, I'm, I'm very happy to see you because Karthik has been one of the outstanding students of uh, NIT Trichy. And I, I frequently mention about his name and especially uh, representing the Republic Day Parade in Delhi. And uh, this, this is, uh, you know, this, uh, this is really good. And of course, getting into U.S. universities is highly competitive. People require uh, guidance. People require coaching. And uh, you rightly pointed out the IIT model here. And uh, it is going to be wonderful. I am sure, you know, this this is going to grow in a very big way. I'm very happy to, uh, you know, the, see the all the very uh, enlightened audience, you know, and the type of people who are involved in this. I wish you all the best. In fact, I wish the Team, I wish your team, uh, yourself, Venkat, Dr. Naura, and uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, the, uh, Dr. Sangamitra, and then friend George, Divakar, Pradeep. Uh, uh, you know, I, I, I'm just reading from what I'm seeing in the screen. Very good, uh, very nice to see all of you in the midst of a very enlightened group. Wish you all the success, and definitely will join in the next year annual report. Which is going to be multifold, multi, multifold, uh, impressive than this report. Wish you all the best for this. Thank you. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Thank you, sir. We are, it's a great pleasure and uh, we're blessed to have you. Uh, I know you'll have to let go in a few minutes, uh, but then we can continue to our other guests. Uh, just in maybe alphabetical order, who's next? Yeah, Dr. Dan Ketterman, uh, if you can share a few words, we'd be happy. Sure. Uh, you know, I've, I've only heard a few things from Nura about what's going on. Uh, and so it's, it's fascinating to see how things are progressing for you. Uh, you know, I, I'm more than happy to hear you say that you're using an ethical standard and that you're not <laughs> allowing template answers and you're not giving people answers because that's, that's just a confusion factor for us on the on the admissions end of things. The, uh, the program at SIU gets approximately 300 applicants for six positions. And so the competitive nature is, is fairly intense for admission into any program in the US. Uh, I'm very happy that Nura has accepted our, our position rather than one of the other nine that she, uh, she received an invitation <laughs> to. 
So she's an exemplary student and we're more than happy to have her. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Kerman. That's the nice thing you say is the program. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, in alphabetical order, uh, Dave, if you can share a few words. Well, thank you for uh, the opportunity to, to join with you and, and celebrate. And uh, <clears throat> though I've you know spent you know a fair amount of time helping with the business, I think what's given me the most pleasure is getting to know both Karthik and, and Nora as, as people. And it's, uh, and I think this is why their business is so successful uh, because they bring, they pour themselves into it, um, their humanity, their um, just the truth of who they are. And I think that's uh, infectious and that's why we're, we're all here tonight. And, and so in that, um, in that vein, I, I think it's important that you know, we, you know, we sort of share some of the things that are, are personal to us. And, and one of my favorite stories um, you know, about Karthik is that when he first introduced me to, to Nora, um, it, was, uh, it was where, where were we, we were working together and, and uh, it was you know, very nice. And I was you know, really impressed by Nora. And, and so the, the next day I, I told Karthik, I said, I said, Karthik, you know, Laura is a beautiful young woman, very smart, really, you know, really impressed. But I, I was really amazed. I, I never realized that she was blind. And, and how could she be a blind dentist? And, and Karthik looks at me very confused and says, well, well what do you mean? She's, she's not blind. And I said, well, then how could she possibly be with you? <laughs> That's, that's a true story. Anyway, <laughs> some of that may, may be lost in translation, but uh, Kar Karthik got a kick out of it. And, it, and I, I, I just tell that story because I think bringing, bringing ourselves, bringing our humor and bringing the things that are not part of business into our business, make it more interesting and exciting. And one of the things that you know, uh, Karthik taught me is that you know, aside from being uh, an excellent, you know, young businessman. Uh, you know, he's also a, a poet, and so I um, I don't have the same skills that he does, but uh, I did uh, put together a short poem for this evening, um, and so let me let me share that with uh, with you. And this is um, in in the U.S. We we call this form of poetry it's uh, somewhat of a of a limerick, and so not not the highest form of poetry, but Sometimes there's a little bit of humor. In it. So um, there was a young woman named Nora who pursued a US dentistry career. He was distracted by a man named Karthik who somehow attracted with his magic. Their love began to bloom and the business did bloom and soon they will be bride and groom. So anyway. <laughs> Thank you, for, uh, you kind of... for, for including me in this journey. I, I look forward to the next leg of it. Um, it's, it's so exciting to see how you know, this has grown and the, you know, all the other people that you've, you've attracted to this. And uh, you know, this is gonna grow exponentially. So I look forward to next year when, you know, when we have uh, you know, a thousand people on this call. <laughs> Dave, I know you're good at steering the show, but uh, you just did the grand reveal. <laughs> you are naturally my best man by selection. <laughs> okay. Wow. wow. I, that, I, I, I never expected that. That is... Um... <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dave. Thank it's, you. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just grateful. I don't have words. Um, yeah. <laughs> Next, Dr. Jack Morenzo, uh, if you can shout a few words. Well, I have to respectfully disagree with Dave. I think Karthik is pretty darn handsome. <laughs> <laughs> and I had no idea you guys are engaged. I'm assuming that's what he meant by that. <laughs> Yet to be, yeah. Well, congratulations for two things then. Uh, uh -huh. I, I want to uh, mention what I 
what I really think is so important being a business person over the last oh, four decades or so is the relationship building. That really st struck me. And I want to encourage you uh, to continue that. You know, that's the passion from your heart. You're helping people. And I believe that is going to uh, really kindle your success in the, in the future. Um, so that, that kind of comes forward as you've been talking about your clients actually becoming ambassadors for you and spreading the word and enriching the whole organization. So the synergy is um, just flowering for you. So uh, I think that's very exciting. And I just want to congratulate you again and wish you the best of success. Uh, I know that Nora is one of my top students in my team, and I'm so happy that she has uh, landed where she has. And I look forward to another year and a half, or a little less than a year and a half. And she has to keep me informed of, uh, of uh, your relationship in the meantime. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dr. Lorenzo. Thank you. Uh, great words. Next, Ravi, if you can speak. You're on mute. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I got it. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, congratulations on completing the one year and thank you so much for including me. Uh, it, it just came through and I, I was not directly uh, uh, in connected to you uh, through one of our business partners. I was able to get connected and uh, I am pretty happy to be part of this group. Uh, and you guys have done a great job. Um, like uh, I've, we have read a lot about like I, I'm not from the uh, health background right like so not on the services side at least uh, not the dentist nor nor do i visit a dentist so <laughs> something that <laughs> i'm not very proud of but that's uh, uh, whatever we have read about uh, being a business building a business product mar market fit being a lifestyle business to moving to helping uh, um, the users or the customers through their journey, through the ups and downs and helping them achieve what they would want to do. And that this being that business and you guys are being successful in so far whatever you have done. And uh, uh, that's that's a pretty great achievement. Uh, to, and the two in a year, that was uh, pretty challenging in all, all fronts. Um, what 99% of the living uh, has not gone through a pandemic. So it's something that everybody is new and we are building a business is uh, less than 10% of the businesses succeed, succeed uh, right? Like so, and very few uh, survive beyond one year. Uh, so you have reached one year and you are <laughs> almost there uh, to be a successful uh, uh, company, right? So and all the best uh, and congratulations. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so much, Ravi. Uh, okay, all right. Um, so we covered the major portion of what we wanted to speak. We'll just take a short five minute break. And then after that, there's just 15 minutes left uh, for us to conclude. So you can go catch water, catch some chips, come back. It'll take five minutes and then just 15 minutes more. After that, it will just be chit chat. Thank you so much, guys. I love Dave's poem. It was amazing. Just wanted to add that. Hello, Dave. How <laughs> are you? I hope you're doing great. I think he's, he's gone for water. <laughs> Just had to unmute here. Thank, yeah, thank you. So, <clears throat> Dave, thanks for that exceptional poem. I just didn't want to come in between, but that was amazing. And uh, thanks for breaking the news <laughs> to well, I, a lot of people who didn't know. <laughs> I'm, and I, I didn't really think through that maybe that you guys hadn't announced that to everybody that would be oh, on this call. So no, I, I apologize no, for it. that. I, no, no, don't worry about it. We, we were debating if I should 
tell it in the beginning but then we kind of decided not to but i mean it was it was good to announce it through a poem so thank you for that <laughs> So, Nora, with your with your studies, um, what's what's the next phase that you're you're going into now? Are you are you mostly in 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 practical aspects at this point? Oh, what am I doing right now? Yes. Yeah. So my program is two years and three months long. So the first three months is I do it outside of the clinic. We call it preclinical, and the next two years is in the clinic. So right now I'm practical and I'm working in the clinic. Um, I still have less than one and a half years to go. I'll be graduating hopefully May next year. Um, and then I'm thinking of pursuing a residency after that. And I, I assume as a healthcare worker, you've, you've already had your vaccines? Yes, I had both, both doses. It was pretty bad after the second dose, but it was it was good that we got it early. Yeah, I, I actually had a, a dental appointment with uh, with my hygienist, and it got canceled because she had her her second um, her second shot, and she couldn't and even she's down couldn't with get that. to work. <laughs> yeah, it, it was pretty bad after the second dose. I, I know some people who didn't have any symptoms, but yeah. Are you getting your vaccine anytime soon? Um, I'm I'm too healthy. <laughs> so, the uh, in in Massachusetts, the uh, you know they they prioritize people um, over seventy, and if you have chronic conditions, and then you know obviously healthcare workers, and now uh, my wife works in a school so she'll get um uh, hopefully within the next couple of weeks she'll get her vaccine but then i'm i'm in with the, the rest of the crowd so uh hope, hopefully within the next couple months i guess it's a good and a bad thing right right <laughs> <laughs> in 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 the clinic um where you where you're doing your work um, is this a, a a clinic that's open to to everyone, and uh, does it end up being typically people you know sort of lower on the economic scale? You could say that yes, um, underserved people, people who are on Medicaid insurance. Most of our patients are on Medicaid. Um, of course, dental school charges fifty percent of what patients would be charged in a private office so they would come here so yeah underserved people mostly yes and and i imagine uh, i mean typically that population has more dental problems they haven't had uh, the benefit of being able to uh, often have good dental care so i imagine it must be you know you must be see more challenges than you might see in a different type of practice Definitely. Um, I do come across a lot of challenging cases. Um, there are some patients who take care of their health from the beginning and then have taken a break in between because of because they've lost, lost their insurance or reasons like that. And there are some patients who've ignored their oral health and have finally decided to come in and take care of it. So each patient presents with a different challenge and it's, it's a very interesting experience learning that. All right. I think uh, we're at about five minutes. We can get started. Just 15 more minutes of presentation, and then we'd love to hear more voices sharing their experience. I'm going to call out a few names if that's okay, and from the team and from dentists to work with us. So, as a business opportunity, what does Capital Simplified Future hold? A couple of things. We spoke about the fly wheel of trust. 
if you say something today, then people trust you. They want to carry along this journey. They want to become ambassadors. They want to help other people in the platform. What can we do capitalizing on trust? How can we continue supporting a person from the beginning of their career when they're getting into school to as they grow and want to establish themselves, spread their roots? A lot, a lot is possible. Uh, I hope I'm sharing my screen. Is it okay? Yes, Karthik. Yeah. So that, uh, this is a spiral of growth you're looking at. You, know, you, you help them at the initial stages when they require counseling for admission. So then you eventually start giving them products that they can start using by themselves. You help them get, uh, of course, financially affordable, fiscally responsible education loans from that. You give them software that helps them set up their own practice and slowly help them eventually start a practice together with you. Now, come, if you see the number of foreign trained dentists who are able to establish private practices in the U.S., that number is extremely low compared to the number that they are in the U.S. A lot of constraints exist. These are just misunderstanding of how the system works and so on. So we believe we can help this community when they want to eventually spread roots and become uh, financially independent and strong. That's just roughly the overview vision. But then it all comes down to starting with the first step. And our baby step is helping people get from multiple countries into the U.S. I'm sure by, by now, all of you, you found that very clearly. I'm just going to put some perspective into how we're doing that differently. So while everybody else is um, getting into school, having a Facebook page, and start starting to help people, we did something different. We said, okay, our time is extremely less. We only have like maybe two hours every day after office to help people. And also we don't want to do something where we just distribute templates or distribute uh, model answers and have people lose their originality in the process. So what we did was we came up with this idea called QSA. We thought, why don't we take all our knowledge, document it, and then use that for other people to think, on, think by themselves at any point of time. So if we can take all, all our knowledge and put it into a tool like Microsoft Word, for example, you can then on your own start brainstorming, on your own start crafting application essays, on your own start preparing for interviews and so on without extra additional help. This, this idea of taking something which we have practiced and seasoned through services and then making that as an asset that can live after us is called productization. So we are bringing the human the coach and software technology together to make something truly scalable. We call this the HUSA model. And in the HUSA model, we've actually built a couple of tools. You can go see them yourself. We've built a tool online that can help people write their own essay. And the interesting thing about it is it will help you brainstorm. It will ask you prompt probing questions, have you come up with your own original answers, and then help you mesh that storyline of how you, you grew up and got into dental school and so on. We've created a, an app that you can use to evaluate how well your clinical pre preparations are. You can click a photo on the app and the app will tell you how good you are and what are your chances uh, to compete with the larger audience. We've created a Wikipedia of dental schools because there are 34 dental schools that offer this program. We've taken all that information from 34 schools, put it into one single website and made it, made it very, very easy for dentists to find it in a single place. We have created a roadmap app, which will basically, it's like a fitness tracker that wakes you up in the morning, asks you to eat the right breakfast. This roadmap app will help you track your path to dental school. Like, have you prepared for your interviews? Are you keeping track with your next clinical examination? Do you have the right deadlines marked up and are you following them and so on? We've uh, launched test simulations that replicate tests that dentists need to take to qualify. And also we have a financial planning tool. And because finances are really complicated for dentists, they have to pay a very high fee to get into school. The different institutions that give them a loan kind of bias them based on the country they're from, based on the state that they live, based on the visa they're on. This tool removes all of that stress out of their minds and straight away shoots a few banks and the interest rates for them at one single place. So using these tools, we're basically productizing our knowledge and keeping it in a way that people can continue using it without necessarily having to give us phone calls each and every time and get valuable ideas. The, the idea is not you. We've all heard of recipe 
for a chef's cooking. This, these are our recipes that people can continue to use as days go forward. All right. Here are a few tools and a small case study. So Flynn, who's on the call with us, is a coach at Capit Simplified. That means she's the one spending about 40 hours coordinating with people and ha having, helping them with different processes. She would patch a call with Noura or I to help somebody specifically on interviews or help somebody brainstorm if they are having a writer's block for an application essay. Flynn also does some things. She uses the tools that we have built, accesses them, and makes life easy for the applicant. Here are two examples. So she would use our Wikipedia tool to help school students shortlist different schools as they evaluate them. She can use our uh, essay writing tool to help people brainstorm and structure a, a complicated essay into a very simple format. So she basically leverages her own time and her own knowledge with the assetized knowledge of our tools in a HUSA model to make them just successful. This is truly disruptive because nobody else has attempted this in, in the US. And the only industry that has attempted this so far is the larger MBA industry, uh, where they are slowly trying to see if technology can replace physical human counselors while preserving originality. So bringing this to healthcare is our dream, and I think we've done a pretty good job so far. We don't have a lot of state customers, but people are engaging actively. In terms of breaking down the actual growth, it would look something like this. We've helped... Uh, 73 dentists across nine countries. We invest about, on average, two hours with each dentist. This is primarily through phone calls and then brainstorming. One out of every two dentists we've coached gets into school or returns back to us for additional services. So there's a certain uh, retention loop in, in the business. Um, and every five dentists that we train not just become ambassadors, but also refer us to other dentists through word of mouth marketing. So the, the goodwill and the credibility kind of passes on and reduces the, our effort to go outside and publicize ourselves. Okay. This is our team broadly. Oh, it looks like we're missing one picture because of a glitch. Uh, but we have Venkit, our CEO. We have Devakar, who manages product. We have Pradeep, uh, who manages marketing. We have Flynn, our coach. We have Dr. Nikita who's a future DBS student and currently a content creator. She's uh, partly the visionary behind most of our products. And then we have Dr. Sangamitre who also creates content. Dr. Sangamitre also posts questions for people to prepare for dental exams every single day on multiple platforms and answers people's questions completely for free. So this is, this is a team that's been working from India behind, behind the scenes while Noura and I just stay the face of the brand as of now. Um, an interesting thing is most of them are quitting their jobs or this is their last day in their job today. And then they're, they're starting as full-time employees from tomorrow. So it's been mostly just friends pulling through time. And we finally you know, pulled the plug and said, okay, it's time to use the money we're earning to invest and work as a full-time team. But naturally, You've seen one side of the picture. There's the human side, and these are the humans behind it. There's the technology side, which needs to come and assetize or productize our knowledge. And the technology backbone for us is uh, our very own Alchem team. So they take our notebook ideas and make them into computer software. So we have a lot of them. I've only mentioned a few. Satya, Karthik, they're all sitting with us. Damo, Gautam, Bairavan, and Parati. Thank you, guys, uh, for working... <laughs> at completely abusive wages back in, back in India just to help dentists receive and achieve their dream in the US. Uh, very soon, you'll, you'll, you guys hopefully will be here to see the success that you have created. In terms of revenue, uh, not the best company out there, in terms, but definitely we've been growing steadily and whatever we earn, they've been investing it back in creating these tools that dentists can earn in the future. So that about in the last uh, four and a half quarters, it's hit um, close to something is wrong, <laughs> close to thirty thousand dollars in in total, and all the entire thirty thousand dollars has gone back into uh, building these tools, which people can use in the future. So maybe 
sometime in the future we'll have some money to take into our pockets and pay for other people's security deposits too we've learned a lot of things from our market but maybe i'll i'll pause here and uh, that's the end of our 15 minutes I'll just quickly run through some key learnings that we had in terms of market this is a very undertapped market because the number of dentists applying are few and because the num- the steps are pretty complicated people haven't actually tried to serve this market actively so there's a lot of potential in this market the way you can win is definitely by building trust and catalyzing word of mouth somebody trusts you they pass on the trust nothing else no other form of artificial marketing actually works if you have helped someone the good will moves on in terms of customer customers believe that uh, it's a very very expensive process and i i think nura spent about $12000 herself just applying to school traveling visiting meeting faculty and taking exams so when they have to spend on counseling after the admission process they're a little hesitant a um, lot of customers love us for our free content and hate us for our customer service naturally they've been doing what we should do in 24 hours and 2 hours so they not like us a lot but hopefully the new team that's coming in from tomorrow will be more responsive and uh, you know speak to applicants whenever they need us a lot of people want a relationship not a one night stand they don't want to speak to us once get a service and move on they want to continue and travel with us and i think this is set the right ground for us to help them not just today in admissions but tomorrow as they establish their roots in in their career we have a lot of women applicants um and who are typically young age 24 25 to 34 they're on different visas primarily they're on h4 or f1 and a, a green card in terms of competition we saw a lot of mom and pop setups sprouts because dentists were not able to go to their clinics to work uh, due to covid restrictions so several dentists as alternative form of income they started facebook pages and started providing services so i'm not sure whether, whether this trend will continue after covid but nevertheless it's just good to see there are more people in the community helping each other la- la- lastly publicity sometimes can compensate for poor quality uh, one of the key complaints that we have heard from dentists who want to reach us is you guys are not really out there it's we do not know you exist they're kind of confused because the application portal's name is capit and your name is capit simplified so we thought you are the bureaucrat and stuff like that so if you have very innovative publicity techniques and you can reach applicants faster maybe you you can sell to them earlier than you, they actually need your services these are some key learning i know this part of the presentation is kind of dull and boring it was made for potential investors who want to help with the future i'll pause here and let you guys know that our presentation is over now would love to hear from people who have seen us grown with us journey with us share a few words about capital simplified uh and what you expect in the future including our team members maybe can we ask dr vinita to start if you don't mind oh my god i wasn't expecting that but uh, uh if i have to talk about nura and kartik i'll probably have to make a new podcast and like you know it would be another one hour session because you know they kind of turned my life upside down you know and that when when i say that i mean that in a good way uh i've struggled uh, getting into schools for almost about 3 years and uh, you know third time lucky charm so they were my lucky charm so um yeah karthik uh, as he mentioned um, the answers that he the, i mean the coaching that he provides is so tailored uh, it's just that it it it, it helped me uh, address my own story or my own answers in a way that is better understood by my interviewers so and uh dr noora she's she she, she knows her. i i think doc uh, it was dr uh, marinsel i don't know I, i'm probably not saying your name right uh she is she, she is the best uh my uh, clinical knowledge just got revised by her um i'm just i'm just in this meeting because i'm ever grateful for both of them because where i'm into school because i i i would like to think i'm in school because uh, both of them uh i'm so happy that cap it simplified is going places i would again be a part of this uh second annual report and i would i would definitely know that their numbers are going up uh congratulations guys i'm so happy for you all thank you very much 
Okay, guys, it's it's an open dais right now. Uh, so you, anyone who's willing to speak, please unmute and start speaking. I would love to hear some voices from our team. I know it's 6.30 a.m. and thank you for waking up in India so early, but nevertheless, we'd love to hear your voices. Thank you for uh, taking us through a great presentation. And yes, to be specific, you engulfed all the content that even we had in mind. So thank you for taking that as well. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you all our investors, Dave, uh, Ravi, and, and uh, Dr. Srinivasan, sir, Dr. Jack, and Dr. Daniel uh, for, for joining us today and for opening a lot of things about Kathy as well. So thank you for that. And um, yeah, so just, just one thing, since um, the entire team would be full-time as Karthik said tomorrow, I just want to say one thing, like we will be on Okay, looks I'm, like we lost him. Maybe we have yes. someone else. Uh, Shruti, would you to like to achieve the American dream? That Good evening. Hi, everyone. And uh, firstly, I would say congratulations to Dr. Nora and Karthik for making this successful for Capit Simplified. And uh, I have been taking their services, I would say, throughout the year. Uh, start from the application process until I get into the dental school. And uh, Karthik and Nora, they made uh, the process so easy and helpful to me. And uh, I felt... Uh, my story was presented in a very much presentable way uh, in which I didn't know until then. And, uh, and I was very much happy to get uh, invites from five schools. And uh, finally, I got into the school which I aimed for. And I would like to thank you guys once again. And uh, I would suggest that uh, the one thing is that they do not have the templates and uh, they tailor your story. And I think that's what schools look for. So, and I'm sure you guys will rock in the future and uh, I look forward to seeing your success and uh, I would love to contribute so much, but I just started with the school and maybe soon I'll start contributing and being part of the Capit Simplified actively. Very soon. Thank yeah. you, thank you. Very soon we'll be nagging you. All right. Anyone else would love to share a few words and we can maybe close the meeting in another uh, five, 10 minutes. Right, I wish Dr. Simon was here. Uh, Dr. Simon was a big uh, support. Dr. Simon was here. He just uh, did, not, did not want to share anything. Like he wanted to be a silent spectator. I. There are some people over here as silent spectators, but were a huge, huge part of my journey. When I started applying, there was nothing like Capit Simplified or any information portal out there. Um, it was mostly like, you know, throwing me into the dark and, and I was trying to find my path. Um, and there were some people who held my hand and kind of showed me the path and told me, don't walk that way and walk this way. Um, there are some people I wanted to mention. Um, unfortunately, Dr. Simon has left, but he was one of the people who let me come to his clinic and practice some whatever I wanted to practice. He would go come to the office, you know, even when he's not working, just because I wanted to practice. Um, and there's Dr. Shankar over here. He doesn't want to come on camera, but I still want to mention him. Um, he is my faculty from dental school in India. And he was one of those uh, people who believed in me and kept telling me that you, I can make it and gave me as many contacts as he'd had in the US and told him to help me out. So just th these people kind of inspired me to help others. Um, I think that helping just comes a full circle. Um, so I'd really like to thank all of them. And I'd like to thank our family too, who's here. Um, thanks for waking up so early. It's 6.30 AM in the morning. Um, they woke up so early on a Sunday to be with us today. So thank you for that. Hello, guys. This is Satya. Um, I want to say thanks uh, and congratulations to Karthik and Nora uh, for the achievement. And thanks for having us in the team. So 
is a great achievement in one year. Without Karthik, I don't think this is possible. And I wish the team to become more success in upcoming years. Thank you. And we will also help the team to uh, be successful in coming years. Thank you. Thank you for the call out. I, I understand the bills are coming from just my bank account. That's because <laughs> I'm legally allowed to pay, but Noura is putting half the effort, so we should thank her as well. All right. Okay. Uh, I'll thank our guests for joining us. Uh, I think we're at the top of the hour. You can, you can let go and just, you know, we'll have an informal audience continue with it. So thank you, Dr. Martin, for saying, Dave, up to you whether you want to stay or continue. It's pretty late in the East Coast. Uh, so up to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Kerman. Thank you, Dr. Manso. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Ravi. Thank you, Ravi. Thank you to everybody who's joined. All right. Okay. I'm going to call out a few more dentists because this is recorded. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to hear your voices if possible. We have Surbi with us. Surbi is an amazing candidate. Because we helped her with three different programs, DES, residency in oral medicine, and the master's in healthcare administration in the same university. And she got into, she got two interviews and she got one admit. So, Surbi, if you can hear your voice, it'll be amazing. We have Dr. Tanmayi with us. If you can hear your voice, it'll be awesome. Or anybody uh, else. Hey. Hi, everyone. Congratulations, Kardik and Nora. This is such a, such a great news. And I'm so happy. Uh, that I'm one of the many students who received services from you and I'm so happy to say confidently that you are the best and you don't know I'm referring so many people to you guys and uh, I feel that someone has to be in the same path uh, to understand what are the challenges and barriers are and Dr. Nora is doing such a great job because she has been through and she knows what what to do, how to do, and what not to do. And you contributed a lot, and thank you for that. And I don't know how can I be helpful, but if there's any chance, do let me know, and I'm happy to contribute in any way. And I wish you a big success, and this is just a stepping stone, and you'll be celebrating soon, 10 and 25 years as well. <laughs> thank Good you, luck, Dr. guys. Tanmay is a rising star on YouTube, and she's been posting actively on our YouTube channel. So very soon, we'll make her an influencer. Oh, OK, my dear family, <laughs> do you have any words to share? Would love to hear you. This is the informal part. I can take off my coat if that'll help. Hi. Flynn, maybe I would love to hear your voice if you want to share a few words. All right. Hello, everyone. And Namaskaram from India, as I, that's how I love to greet people. Um, so my face and my name has been introduced. I think, uh, I think Karthik has a video on his YouTube, our YouTube channel that talks about how to introduce oneself in an interview or otherwise. I think I should have watched that because I'm finding it hard to, I don't know where to start from. But I think he mentioned something about a power of three, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm not going to prolong this and talk about three things about myself, but I think I'll start with one, which is one thing that I've always connected to and I thrive on our human connections and like personal touches, you know, like I think that is what inspires and leads the world from picking up litter to being there for a friend or even better a stranger to even coaching someone to get into dental school. If you do it from your heart and the passion, if their best interest is in your mind, if you're filled with empathy, I think that is the best way to go. And I think that way of life that I think when Karthik leads, that is how that um, our friendship is sort of a byproduct of that. We met a couple of years back and we're still friends or we are friends now. I think that is how this bond got created and that in turn led me to Cap It Simplified. And I couldn't be, um, you know, more happy. And this whole process of uh, sort of using this you know, platform to integrate Karthik's and Dr. Noura's efforts and all the, our whole team's efforts and to help helping a candidate to get into a school. It's just really gratifying and like, honestly, like fully contentful. And like he was saying, them coming back and saying, you know, their stories of gratitude, and not even their stories of gratitude, just their stories to begin with are very overwhelming. 
and sort of gives us a perspective into our life as well. So it's been extremely nice being a part of the team officially. And also that I'm attending this event on this side of the table as part of the team rather than as friend on the other side. It's just like really nice. So thank you all of you all. And I can see a family, Durgesh, hi. And a lot of other family faces. Uh, it's nice to see that uh, Nora's and Karthik's friends and family, all of them have joined. So yeah, thanks Karthik. <laughs> thank you, Flynn. We'll give you a year and bonus. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> okay. Any anyone else? Uh, we have even Nikita here. I can't see her, but she's basically traveled with us all the way. All right, guys, if you want to leave, you can. Um, I would definitely want to hear at least one voice from my family. <laughs> this okay, the startup um, was born on my, my cousin sister's yeah. table. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you can go on. Oh, sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry for interrupting. Sorry to, sorry to interrupt you. You can continue. I was just like, I just wanted no, to no, add. I was, uh, I, just, I was here in the US around the time when Nora was struggling to get into her own dental school. I was literally, literally through the process. I saw her and up to what, I mean, the work that Karthik and Nora were doing together was so inspiring. And what really inspired the most was the fact that, you know, Nora wanted to also give it to others, whatever she got out of her experience and I mean, providing it to others. And the fact that Karthik's conviction to make that itself into a business was something overwhelming. And today it's like, back then, back in the day, it was just a concept. And almost two years later, it's something else right now. I understand we just started during the COVID time, but it was all already formulated when we we're back in 2000, by the end of 2018, I guess. So yeah, congratulations to you both and you really make me proud. And I'm more inspired today than I was yesterday. Thanks to you both. And congratulations. Thank you. I would definitely have to say a few words of my uh, sister and my mama, because the startup was born on their dining table. <laughs> <laughs> the walnut color dining table uh, back in Edwardsville uh, when I was jobless and they were feeding me and my mama was basically instructing me on what, how the healthcare industry works while pampering my nephew <laughs> simultaneously. So thank you for being a big support. You do not know how you've helped Capital Simplify, but you've been a, a big support and, uh, and Dr. Kavi Priya, my sister's uh, video is also has crossed 1,200 views, which is a record on our channel, which does not get more than 1,000 views for most videos. So <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, you've been a very, very big support for in, in ways that we don't, we cannot really measure. So I'm glad that we had some part to play in this, but let me tell you, uh, Karthik is one of the most humble people that we have in our family. And without this one year annual report or without him actually have without him having been in a house that we could see that something was going on, I do not think that we would have ever known that such a business was brewing. Um, we, are, we are blessed that we were along those, I mean, initially he would just be working constantly and we would be like, what is he doing in his laptop constantly? But, and because he's so humble, he never actually expressed or uh, even told us what he was doing. It's only when Capit Simplified grew to some extent and we started seeing YouTube videos with Noora and himself, we were even privy to the details of what was happening in our own house. So my only request is, please don't let us wait until the next annual report for us to know what is going on. Please give us some uh, informal updates through the year. So we'll be so happy to be a part of this journey even through the next year. Because as uh, one of the chief guests said, I think this is going to be multifold next year. And I really want to know, I want, we want, I'm sure everybody on this forum would agree. We would love to have little updates, um, be it formal or informal. But what a fabulous program and uh, well-spoken everyone. It's so good to be here. Hardly congratulations, Karthik and Nora and everybody else on the screen. All we provided was a for this class. And, uh, sorry, sorry. Mr. Can, you, can you repeat? Oh, oh no. Uh, can you repeat? All we provided was just some food and a dining table. It was such a <laughs> reference. Yeah. Hardly that goes a long way. And let me just say, Mr. David, a uh, lot of people, almost everybody uh, writes poems in our family. So we'd like to include you in our family. 
I'm, I'm, sure I'll be able, mean... I'm sure I'll be able to learn a lot and improve my poetry uh, <laughs> with your input. Dave, you, you actually have a, a nickname in my family. They call you Dangerous Dave after a famous game. So you're already part of the family. <laughs> well, thank you for uh, for inviting me into the, into the family. And uh, again, it, it's uh, it, it, I think this is one of the things that um, you know you get involved with and you get pulled in, and and just the momentum pulls you forward because of all the other good people involved. And and this is a good example of you know the impact that you know one, two people can have in, in bringing this together. And I think, you know, just taking this example and, and uh, multiplying it in other aspects of our lives. I, I mean, that's, that's really um, what, you know, the, the power of working together and building relationships can do. So I, I'm, I'm really excited to be here with everyone. Thank you so much, Dave. All right. Okay, if no one else. Hi, wants... Hi Karthik. I'd just like to have a few words. Um, I'm Karthik's mother, for those of you who do not know. Uh, this is a proud moment uh, to see uh, Karthik and his venture uh, having come to this stage. Um, like uh, Dr. Kavipriya rightly said, you know, he kept us in the dark for quite some time and we were pretty annoyed as to what was happening all the time busy and he wouldn't give time for the family to talk or call. We just understood he was busy and busy and we really appreciate um, re really appreciate the efforts that have gone in uh, the passion that he has always for helping people and uh, the partnership with Nora and uh, Nora you've done a um, you know a tremendous job and uh, the feedback that we hear from all the people it shows you know how much you guys have put your heart and soul into it and the best part that i'm impressed with is the ethical ways in which you are following through the business uh, and you know doing everything from your heart to serve people i'm sure you'll go a long way in this venture i'm very happy and uh, proud all the best my prayers for you guys thank you and Dr. Dave, I mean, Mr. Dave had to announce this. <laughs> I could see Karthik really so, uh, feeling so embarrassed and blushing away. <laughs> uh, Mr. Dave, we haven't yet announced to half the family, the bigger family. And if people are going to see this recording, they're going to get a shot. <laughs> Maybe you made it easy for us and for us to take it through. Thank you. Thank you for all your support for Karthik Dave. You've been his first mentor in his career graph at US. Thank you. Yeah, you know, well, you. well, you're welcome. And, and I guess it's, uh, you know, sort of from an American standpoint, you know, we, we, we tend to be very, you know, open with things. And so I'm, I'm sorry if I uh, spilled, <laughs> spilled things too soon, but uh, it's, it's very good news for everyone. So uh, yeah. hopefully, Thanks. hopefully it's, it's happy news for everyone. Thank you, Dave. It's part of the cultural immersion we're getting into the family. <laughs> All right, uh, Dr. Simon, uh, are you with us? Would love to hear a few words. You invited us into your clinic a long no, time back. No, no, he, he had to leave. He had to leave. Yeah. Okay. I don't I don't want to force Dr. Shankar, but if you wish to share some words, we'd we'll love to hear from you. Uh, good morning to everybody. I hope I'm audible. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Uh, first of all, congratulations to Karthik and uh, Nora on the engagement. <laughs> uh, that's news to everybody, I guess, uh, as talk of the day today. Uh, and uh, congratulations on uh, a very successful one year of CAPIT. Uh, it was very impressive to uh, hear about uh, all that you have achieved in the very short time of one year. And it's nice to know that you're helping people to get into schools in America. I mean, talking about Nora, she, uh, during her BDS days itself, she was standing out uh, from the rest of the students. So she was definitely one to go to the US and not uh, be there in India. I mean, she's, I'm sure she's destined for much greater thing, uh, things in the future. Uh, 
Uh, that's the problem. I mean, what else can you say? I mean, everybody has been in all places for uh, both of you, and uh, I wish both of you a very great uh, future ahead, uh, both personally and in the professional front. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you so much, Dr. Shankar. You, you, are, you are, in a way, the seed investor for the startup because without your help, Noura wouldn't have come to the US. And without coming to the US, Capital Simplified wouldn't have been born. So it's a blessing that you have spoken. Yeah, you know, it, 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 I, I was not actually, I don't see it as helping Nora because she was more than capable of uh, achieving uh, whatever she has achieved till now and uh, is going to do in the future also. So I was just part of that journey with her uh, during her BDS days uh, as her, uh, one of her teachers, I should say. <laughs> and it was nice to join you on your uh, first year anniversary. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Maybe I'll just wait a few more seconds, and otherwise we can close the call and let people have a good early morning or late night. Oh, hi, Nanda. Hi, bro. Thank hi, you. bro. Um, hey, Kartik. Saruna here. Hi, uh, so it's 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 a great um, great time. Um, I mean, I I just I mean I've been last cycle was my first cycle like, like last year, and I started a little late, and I've been seeing all the videos, and I've I've used all the videos to you know fill my application and you know prepare myself for the interviews and stuff. Um, I'm really glad that you know I'm here with Capit Simplified this year, so um, I'm just hoping for good times so that um, going forward we all can celebrate more. Um, I I really appreciate the idea that you know. Um, apart from holding a job, you have, you, you are, you are, I mean, I'm pretty sure you're busy and stuff. So everybody who's working with you is busy, but then to come out and do this uh, bigger kind of thing that you want to support other people out there. So um, it's, it's, um, it's a great thing. And I really appreciate you and the team for all the efforts and the time you put in. Thank you. Thank you, Karthik and the team. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Nanda. Thank you for joining at this time later. That's fine, Karthik. Hi, <laughs> now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> like first evening, very smooth. Like it was really very so great to meet a person from our hometown, and uh, we both joining together with the team. Like it's even more. I, I feel more cheerful. Uh, and since it's my first cycle, I'm so excited for this, uh, the cycle, and with the campus simplified, and even more, I'm excited that too with you. And uh, like you've been like a part of my like you've been like Sarana to me, and it's so great. To work with you. <laughs> Thank you. You can, you can, we'll, we'll exchange this pleasantries when I miss a deadline next time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Cheers, man. Thank Thank you. Congratulations. All the best for your future and Thank cheers. You so much. Thanks. Take care. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Now for the third time, I think it's time to close the call. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining. Uh, you can let go. It's been it's been a big pleasure. Like we didn't expect this very odd timing, especially in the middle of the weekend, people would join us. But to have this overwhelming response uh, to our first year anniversary has been truly a blessing. And like like we said, it's it's always about the people. And uh, while they're trying to build products that replace us as people, we will never lose the people that we have helped build in their careers. Thank you so much uh, for joining. We we'll just love. If my team could stay on the call for a few more minutes while everybody uh, slowly starts exiting. All right. Thank you for the Bye, input. Guys. Take care, everyone. Take care. Bye. Thank, Thank, Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Ravi. I tried to order the Swiggy samosa, but I do not know how to deliver it. <laughs> it's kind of difficult from here. <laughs> but let me know like how to order it. Like. I'm sorry. You lie. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I swear. I, the, 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 app, the app doesn't work from here. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Hey, Pa.
Do you want to shout a few words? Mm-hmm. Okay. We'll be happy to hear few words from our storyteller too. Oh, Akka, are you there? Okay, thanks, oh, thanks, Vivaker. I didn't, I didn't see the participant list. I was only yeah, seeing no, video. No. I obviously just woke. I mean, just woke up a while ago. I didn't want to show my face like this. Good job. Honestly, I, I cannot say much because I haven't been part of the journey, right? Probably next year if I'm going to say a few words. All the best and uh, trust two people that are far away. No idea how the business is going to go. And if like a bunch of people are willing to quit their jobs completely and, you know, work for this small startup that's so far away, you don't even know it exists. Uh, it takes a lot, right? So it, if that much of trust is there, then something must be happening. So all the best to all of you who lives which yes and satya here i'm so sure i'm good to see how much all of you have grown from that small office in that one <laughs> how you are sitting now even the way your posture even how much you've grown um, not intellectually but you know as people you're like grown up adults now so i'm very proud to see that yeah okay. only only you turn the table and you saw, saw the other side That's all I have to say. I think Appa doesn't know how to take his mute off, which is why he's not saying anything. Kripa, Kripa, I, I'm there and there. Don't worry. I'm just waiting for everybody to do Okay, I just uh, was happy that <laughs> the that one card first anniversary, I still remember that. Uh, where <laughs> Mubarak and uh, Karthik did a, did a presentation about uh, how that one card evolved, or rather epic, I should say. One of them evolved so that was uh, the first venture which Karthik and uh, Mubarak started. And it's so coincidental <laughs> that Mubarak's sister and Karthik started another venture now, Capit, uh, which is a coincidence. So there is a, seems to be, you know, entrepreneurial spirit in uh, Mubarak's family, uh, of course, mm-hmm. Nora's family. <laughs> and uh, Karthik seemed to be even able to convert anybody into an entrepreneur, <laughs> looks like. <laughs> I'm, I'm very glad about it. <laughs> you know, being an entrepreneur, one thing, and making others uh, believe in entrepreneurship is one. So no wonder uh, Babson uh, MBA in entrepreneurship helped <laughs> in creating more uh, the entrepreneurial spirit in people. And I heard that uh, uh, Kripa, who is Karthik's sister, might also become a, a registered entrepreneur in Singapore soon. I wish her uh, the best to start the company. So um, obviously, I'm very proud. I'm very, very happy to see Karthik evolving into a uh, businessman. Uh, I wish this will help more and more uh, people from India, or I would say any, anywhere outside of India also, to get into uh, the coveted profession of dentists in US, because it is perceived as the golden goose, so to say, you know, I believe it's the most well-paid job as well as uh, very, very uh, competitive to get in. It's not that easy to get in. So I wish you all the best. Noora, uh, thanks for uh, motivating um, Karthik uh, to pursue that goal because sometimes Karthik has the tendency to, you know, get over, overwhelmed by his ambition. Uh, his ambitions are uh, much more sky high and sometimes you have to bring it down to a street high so that you know <laughs> things, are, things, things are practical he is a dreamer by nature and uh, 
uh, it's better to have somebody to moderate the dream in terms of what is practical, what is possible, yeah, what is, working, what is uh, balance. And uh, I still uh, feel that he has to achieve a balance between work and life. That part is still uh, pending. I'm sure you'll work on it. Now that you plan to become a partner in this, not only in the venture, in the entrepreneurial venture, but also in life, hopefully he will achieve some balance. Uh, please help, help us to achieve that. Help him to <laughs> achieve that. Thank you all the best, uh, all the best wishes for your growth and uh, achieve your dreams. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And I want thank to uh, specific, specifically mention about the India team. I happened to visit uh, uh, the Capit uh, India team. Uh, physically, I went to their office in uh, one part of Chennai. I also uh, met the key people, uh, three or four of them. Uh, some of them came to my home. Uh, we spent some time. Then I went to the office and met them there too. And it's a very small team. And it's so surprising. Some of them were his ex uh, colleagues in the previous venture. Remember that that one card was his previous venture. And I saw some four or five familiar faces from that venture, which means uh, they all believed in him. Then they quit. Uh, they, they were working in some four or five different companies. And after three years, I see the same four people come back again and start joining this venture, which shows the, the, the amount of relationship uh, all of them built together and mutual trust in each other. That's amazing. You know, entrepreneurial quality is make your people believe in you and believe in each other. I mean, believe in each other. And I really want to wish uh, Divakar, Venkat, Satya. Paridi, Satya, and Gautam. These five, uh, I remember uh, because they were uh, the original, that one card, or pillars or related pillars, I would say. I mean, more, more, more Gautam and uh, uh, Paridi okay. and Satya are the original, uh, that one card pillars. And of course, uh, Venkat came uh, as a partner to them uh, in some other venture. Uh, Divakar also joined later. So I am very happy to see the same uh, committed team and with that kind of a people who are committed i'm sure this venture will go uh, you know much much far uh, and uh, sometimes i get influenced as an angel investor because i was one of the angel investor <laughs> angel investor who invested in the that one card venture also uh, i didn't put a lot of uh, any money on this uh, cap it simplified yet but i'm looking at it i'm looking at it from a distance now so if it makes business sense, I might consider it as a potential uh, investee company. Let's see how it goes. All the best. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Pa. So, oh, well. All right. I'm uh, going to thank my family for for support <laughs> especially putting up with me that's the biggest support and uh, um, and making this meeting into a small biography <laughs> so thank you so much um, yes I think I think we're good to close otherwise people will be stuck without just staying on the call if no one else wants to quickly share some words we can all catch our dinner or breakfast wherever we are All right, wonderful. I'm closing the call. Goodbye, guys. Have a great day. Send us food. Send everybody food. <laughs> yeah, no, they sent me a mail about Swiggy samosas. I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> I, I, I will. I, I promise. Make it happen. Make it happen. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Venkat, so give me a call. Let's plan something. No, you need to yeah. do Swiggy in India and grab in Singapore. Yes. And what is the equivalent in US? Grubhub. Yeah. Grubhub. Yeah. Grubhub. Send us food. I don't want to cook today. Please send us food. I'm serious. Done, done. In, in the next in the next 10 minutes. First, first task for the for Venkat after quitting his job. <laughs> Thank you.
வெங்கட்